Hey there my lovelies and welcome to my booktube channel The Sassy Library Fox. My name is V and today I'm going to do the book buying tag and I was tagged for this by my dear friend Gemma at Bookish Gems and I just saw this on her booktube page or channel and um, commented on it and then she decided to tag me as well. <laughs> So here I go, Cham. I consider myself tagged and now I'm doing this. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just jump right into it and go for the first question. And the first question is, where do you buy books from? Well, when I buy books or if I buy books, I usually buy them from Thalia, which is a bookstore or a well-known bookstore in German-speaking countries. I don't know if you have Thalia in other countries as well. I know for a fact that there are a couple of shops and stores in Germany as well. And there are some of them in Austria. I have no idea if they are in other countries as well. <laughs> and the other source I usually buy books from is Amazon. Um, but mostly on Amazon I buy ebooks. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Um, question number two. Do you ever pre-order books? And if so, do you do this in store or online? <laughs> um, me and pre-ordering books doesn't have a good history together. <laughs> I usually never got them when I wanted to have them. It always said we are out of books and you have to wait for the next three months. So I usually don't pre-order books. The last time I did this I had to wait so long for the book that I actually bought it as an ebook. <laughs> so I don't pre-order books anymore and um, when I pre-ordered them I usually did it on Amazon. So now I don't pre-order anything anymore. And considering I'm a snail and usually only get to read those new releases about a year or two years later, I'm totally fine <laughs> with not having them right at home. <laughs> um, question number three. On average, how many books do you buy a month? Zero. <laughs> um, it's been ages I last bought a book. I mean, I recently bought uh, Anyway the Wind Blows and uh, this was the first book I bought after I think three months. <laughs> so um, <laughs> it probably would be uh, zero point three or so books I buy in a month because I rarely buy books for myself and I I really usually borrow them because I don't have all that much space in my flat. So yeah, <laughs> zero books or zero point three if you want to say it like that. <laughs> Let's go to question number four. Do you use your local library? Haha, <laughs> yes, of course I use my local library. You all know how I feel about my local library. I love my local library. <laughs> and the answer to that would be a very definite and enthusiastic yes. Um, question number five. If so, how many books can you slash do you borrow at a time? Um, my library is actually in Vienna and the Viennese libraries allow you to borrow 25 books at the same time. And before you ask if I ever got to that limit, yes, I did multiple times. <laughs> um, I, I borrow a lot of books from my library and very often I hit that limit of 25. Recently I'm trying to keep it down to about 
11 to 15. <laughs> um, yes, but I I hit that limit. I hit it very often. <laughs> Um, question number six. What is your opinion on library books? I love them. I borrow almost all of my books from the library, so yeah, there's nothing to add or to say. I love library books. Some of them are falling apart at the seams, but I still like to borrow them and to read them. As I already said, I never get tired of advocating for my library. So there you go. I love that there are a lot of library questions in here. <laughs> um, this said, let's heed to question number seven. And question number seven is, how do you feel about charity shop second-hand books? Um, I actually already bought books from charity shops or from the flea market or second-hand shop. And why not? Sometimes you have amazing books there, they look like new and well, why not buy them? There you are most certainly doing something for a good cause if you buy one at those shops and I see nothing wrong with them. There are a lot of books at charity shops or second-hand shops that are still looking like new, so I don't see why I shouldn't buy books there. <laughs> um, question number eight. Do you keep your read and to-be-read pile together or on the same shelf or not? I keep them together. I have a lot of books in my shelves that are still on my to-be-read pile and I just like to keep series together so it's quite often that I have books in my shelves I haven't read yet and um, well yes they are together because they are serious I have really not a lot of standalones and well I keep them all together I know what I have read and what I haven't read <laughs> so there's no reason to keep them apart I guess Anyway, let's see to question number nine. Do you plan to read all of the books that you own? Um, yes, <laughs> that would be a definite yes. Um, I'm actually currently making my way through all the books I own and I think there aren't a lot of them left I haven't read yet. Most of the books that are on my shelf I have already read. So that would be the answer to this question. Question number 10. What do you do with books that you own that you feel you will never read, felt you did not enjoy? Um, there are a couple of things I do with those books. I usually give them to the flea market. I give them to social markets. I put them in telephone booths. I don't know if you know that principle, but in my small town and in Vienna, there are telephone booths that got reconstructed into book um, telephone booths. <laughs> and you can put your books in there and someone else can take out the books and read them if they want to, or they can put books in themselves. And I think that's a nice way to give people a chance to read books for free. Um, I always give them to the library as well if they want it. I, I usually make sure that the library wants those books and write them an email first because I know a lot of the libraries are really, really full <laughs> and don't know what to do with books that are donated to them. Um, I always give some to the social market as well because there are plenty of people that could read those books and quite honestly when I read them once and they look like new why not give them to people that actually want to read them and that profit from getting them for free and well 
I think the last option I usually have is to give them to friends as well. Sometimes my friends will say they, they wanted to read this for ages and then I just hand them the book because if they find joy in it and if they can read it as well, why not give it to them? So yes, I, I donate a lot of my books and I basically donate all of the books I know I won't ever read again. <laughs> so yeah, libraries and social markets are probably very glad to receive those new books. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> now the question comes, question number 11, have you ever donated books? Yes, I did. <laughs> I just uh, explained this. So we can say yes and check it and put it aside. Um, question number 12. Have you ever been on a book buying ban? Did I ever stop to be on a book buying ban? <laughs> Um, uh, as I said, I don't often buy books, so I'm basically constantly on a book buying ban. <laughs> and I only buy the new releases I know that will never land in the library. Mostly and sadly, those are LGBTQ plus books, because my library still hasn't enough of them and I usually end up buying those for myself, but very, very rarely, as I already told you. So yes, I'm constantly on a book buying ban. <laughs> I mean, look at my shelves. There isn't a lot of room anymore. My hobby is going to um, get a crisis <laughs> if I buy too many books. Um, question number 13. Do you feel that you buy too many books? Quite honestly, no, because I have to keep them in check. I don't have all too much room and so I don't buy all too many books. Yeah. Um, I do borrow too many of them though. <laughs> As you can see with the pies over there, those are all library books. Um, yeah, enough of that. Now it comes to the fun part. I'm going to tag a couple of other booktubers which I recently started to follow. And you don't have to do the tag if you don't want to, but it would be fun if you would do it. <laughs> so I tag Sonali at Sonali is trying her best. <laughs> She's such a funny booktuber. I love her booktube. She is hilarious. I just love her videos. Um, I'm also tagging Em's Booknook, which I recently started to follow. And Em's Booknook is really interesting. It's a great channel and Em is a really nice person. So Em, you're tagged. <laughs> the next one is Teacup, the storyteller. Um, I just recently followed her journey or her booktube journey, so I don't know all too much about her yet, but I definitely want to find out more, so that's the reason why I'm tagging you. <laughs> and Red Panda Reads, you are tagged too, and I would love to hear your take on those questions. So this said, I'm already at the ending of my book tag. I hope you enjoyed it um, and well, there's nothing left to say. Stay healthy and safe, take care and see you around the next time. Bye! <laughs>